So we have two cups of Granny Smith apples. Now Granny Smith, as you'll remember, have the beautiful green peel on the outside of the apple and on the inside their flesh is very firm and crisp and tart and that's really important when you have uh, a recipe like this that you're going to saute because you want the apple to retain its firmness in the pan. So to this two cups of apples we're going to add a third cup of golden raisins. Now, golden raisins I chose because they're a little bit sweeter. They're pretty in the recipe. And to the golden raisins, we have stirred up a quarter cup of moonshine or brandy or apple cider, if you choose, and a quarter cup of orange juice. So I'm just going to stir those around a little bit. And we're going to pour the raisins and our juices over the apples. And then we're going to toss it to coat really well. And see, you have some remaining juice down in the bottom of the bowl. So we've got that going. And then we're going to take our quarter cup of brown sugar. So we're going to add that in. And we're going to stir again. And let that begin to soften the apples. The juices are all combining with the apples and the raisins. And you've got the mixture all ready to go into your pan. Now, the last dry ingredient we're going to add is freshly ground cinnamon. As you can see, this cinnamon stick, very, very tough and hard. You're going to have to use a micro plane grater, but this is such a neat tool to have in your kitchen, not just for this, but for grating citruses. So what we're going to do is just run the cinnamon stick, you can see how waxy it is, along the microplane. And we're going to just slide it over into the mixture. And there we go. It has much more fragrance, has more flavor, and we are ready to go to our pan. Into the skillet, we're going to toast our walnuts. And this will be very quick. It'll pull the oils out of the walnuts, give them a wonderful, tasty flavor profile. And we're just going to let them lightly toast in your skillet less than a minute. You're going to see the oils start to come to the surface of the walnuts and it's just going to add one more little flavor to your hors d'oeuvre today which is what I'm going to show you and next we've got your half cup of butter and we're going to move very quickly as we start to get the butter all melted there we go We've got it sizzling, which means it's ready to go. We're not going to bring it to a boil for very long because you're going to turn your butter to brown. And we're going to go down on our heat a little bit. And there we have the butter and the nuts are ready. And we're going to add these wonderful apples and raisins to your skillet. The skillet's pretty hot now. And we're going to cook that for three or four minutes until the apples begin just to get a little soft. And as you know, your, most of your alcohol is going to burn off during this process. So it's okay for kids to have this, but you can always substitute apple cider. So we've got this ready to go over our beautiful brie. It's very warm. And you'll just pour over your apples and your raisins and your walnuts for a beautiful appetizer. You can even pour it over ice cream.